welcome to the world of Vue.js, which is awesome because Vue.js is great. In this video, we're going to have a look at how we can dynamically bind attributes of elements and we'll also have, a, well, a little addition to events. Let's put it like this. So let's dive right into it. This is the application with which I'll work. A very simple application. It has a div with which holds my app with the ID app, which I control with this view instance. This view instance only has one property in the data object, which is named CSS class and an empty string initially. And then I'm outputting this string up here in my template. And I have an input field where I listen to the input event, but I'm not doing anything upon, well, typing. The first thing I want to do is I want to store the text the user enters into the input in this CSS class property here. I can do this by setting CSS class equal to, well, to what? I somehow need access to the value of this input. Well, in JavaScript, whenever the input event gets fired or whenever any event gets fired, we get a default event object passed to the event listener. That's nothing Vue.js specific. That's just JavaScript and how the DOM works. This default event object we get has in the case of the input and many other events, the target of this event. So on which element was this event executed? For example, the target of an input event would be the input element where we typed something in. So we need access to this target to get access to the value of this input element. Now for that, we need access to this default event object. And it turns out in Vue.js, we can access this data, which is passed through an event like this default event object we get automatically by accessing dollar sign event here between the quotation marks in our VON directive. Now here's something which is really important. It's not called dollar sign event because we're accessing this default event object. Dollar sign event is simply a local variable kind of created by Vue.js, which gives us access to whichever data our event gives us automatically. Now this data we get happens to be the event object in this case, but as you might know you can also create custom events in Vue.js, something I'll also cover in another video. Now in such a case you can pass your own data and you would still access this own data through the dollar sign event vari variable here. Because again, dollar sign event really only refers to the data passed by the event to which you're listening. So here this happens to be this built-in event object and therefore we can access the target of this event. Target is a property the default JavaScript event object has and then the value of the target. Value is a property an input element has in JavaScript. So a normal DOM property of an input element and well we know that the event target is an input element. So this gives me access to this value and this means that now if I type something here like test we see it up here down there. This is great, but do you wonder why I named it CSS class? Well, because I want to style this paragraph dynamically. I want to allow myself to input the CSS class which I want to attach to this paragraph. So I want to choose something like this. I do have my class attribute and there we could have, let's say, our double curly place braces and then CSS class. And now if I hit here in the top right corner in the CSS part, if I add, let's say a red class, I want to set the background color to red. And I also want to add, let's say a blue class that we have something to play around with. So here we want to set the, uh, not the black ground, the background color to blue. And what I want to, to have now is that if I type something here like red, the red class gets attached here, but if we inspect it, well, oh, instead we get the double call braces. So somehow this does not work in the same way as it works here when we use it in normal text and not inside of a CSS attribute. Well, that's just how Vue.js works. We can't and we must not use curly braces here when you, well, when accessing a normal attribute. When accessing something else than just plain text as we do here, we instead need to bind this class property or attribute here dynamically. And we can do so by passing it 
as an argument to a directive Vue.js knows. It's kind of the same as with the event. Here we're passing the default input method or excuse me event which exists in JavaScript and in the DOM. We're passing this event as an argument to the VOn directive. Now I need to pass the class attribute to another directive. This directive is called vbind and I pass it with a colon and with that I'm telling Vue.js I want to bind some attribute dynamically on this paragraph item. And the attribute I want to bind directive, uh, dynamically excuse me, is class. Now this allows me to simply output the name of the property, the value to which I want to bind between the quotation marks here. And this of course refers to my CSS class property in the view instance. Now if we reload this, watch what happens if I type red. It becomes red. And if I type blue, it becomes blue. Because if we inspect this, we see that as I type here, the CSS class, which is attached to the element, changes. And this is how you can bind attributes of elements reactively with vbind, telling Vue.js, yeah, please attach the normal class attribute, that shouldn't change, but the value of that attribute, that is dynamic from now on, and we achieve this with vbind here.